ask first, what is leadership for you? Do you have any ideas about leadership? Well, I can say if you have no ideas, because <laughs> there is some silence. Uh, Ralph Smedley, uh, the launcher of Toastmasters International, he told that leadership is capacity to look ahead, to think ahead, to plan ahead, and then influence on people so they can work on this plan ahead. So if you are just a good speaker, you can be a good speaker. If you are just a teacher, you can teach and be hired by other universities. If you are a good financial, you can work as a financial. But if you are a specialist, a speaker plus leader, you can be a great person and you can do your own teaching company. You can do, you can do your own uh, auditing company. You can do everything. It's just being leadership and learning it by the help of after a postmaster's club. Um, the first, um, this is like the thing that I want to explain you today. The, comp uh, the same as like uh, Nurlan told, like 10 finger uh, fingers, the same like 10 projects on being a good leader. Uh, yeah, first I, how to say, I ask it you to remember what I knew today said because uh, being a competent leadership track is like, uh, learning by doing because when you do the things you learn and you experience it and the doing uh, all that roles that Daniel was explaining you can how to say learn and know what is being a good leader and be a good leader so <clears throat> the first project um, every project focuses on different how to say skills of being a leader the first and main thing is of being a leader is uh, ability to listen and like listen first. Uh, here you can you should like take uh, three roles of these four. Uh, you can take the easiest ones like maybe for someone it's easier to be a counter first time and uh, for someone it's easier to be speech evaluator. So it's up to you. Just by taking these roles, you hone your ability to listen to the speaker to listen to the, uh, how to say, to give feedback after listening. So listening carefully is one of the core skills uh, and foundational skills to be a leader. Um, uh, the second thing is critical thinking. This critical thinking skill is the way to hone or improve your ability to give feedback. Like the first, you, you learn how to listen correctly, and then uh, you learn how to, keep, uh, how to give feedback by critical thinking. It is like, for example, when you are a speech, uh, yeah. for this second portal to uh, complete this, you need to have two of these three roles. So for example, when you are a speech evaluator, first you listen to him, or to her, and second, you just think, how was his movements, how were his movements, or how did he, um, how to say, explain the thing that he needed to explain. Or by being a grammarian, you just, how to say, notice from, uh, grammar mistakes. So you are not just listening, you are thinking critically, and uh, be preparing to give a good feedback. Um, the third, uh, project is giving feedback, as I have explained it. Step by step, we're going to like uh, more and more uh, difficult uh, skills. The same, you, know, you should take like three roles as being speech evaluator, primarian, or general evaluator. Um, the fourth, yeah. If you are a leader and if you want to have to say to make your company or just to be a good uh, worker and uh, be effective, you need to have a good time management. For this, of course, obviously you can like um, be a timer. This is required. Like first, you will be a timer, and then you can take one of these four uh, roles in the list: speaker, grammarian, <coughs> master, or toastmaster. As uh, all of these roles take, uh, how to say, needs that you uh, count the time and use it effectively. The fifth project is planning and implementation. 
you know, as uh, being a leader is making uh, good projects, implementing them, and planning them. As I have said, if you're a leader, you first think, plan, and implement it. For example, um, how to say, any leadership thing needs to be planned and how to say done. So uh, to complete this six project, you need to have uh, three, to, to do three roles of these four. Uh, you can be a speaker, table topic master, talk manager, or a general evaluator. The sixth project is about organizing and delegating. Now you know how to plan, now you know how to give feedback and uh, how to implement this. But when you are a leader, it's leader is being is not about doing everything yourself. It's about delegating to your members of the project and doing uh, so they can do it effectively. Uh, for, to complete the sixth project, you can take only one of these, but all of them I think are challenging. And this like. Uh, the events maybe you have known or seen from our albums or our Facebook page that we organize a lot of events and you can take one of these um, like be an organized or helping work to organize club special events or speech contest, public relationship, uh, relations campaign. For example, we had um, at, I think in November we had the uh, PR event, we, uh, we promoted our uh, club in uh, American Education Fair and was very successful. If you have seen, uh, made a, how to say, it, it really required a lot of work and delegating to each member of this club uh, of, the, of this event, uh, doing something like organizing the dance, organizing the with leaflets, and everyone was, de uh, was de de doing the thing that was delegated by the leadership. Uh, the leader of the project. And about this uh, project, Abak Chan will be uh, explaining right after me, so you can ask him about this project. Uh, the seventh project is uh, de developing your facilitation skills. Do you know what is facilitation? miscommunication between the members, so there will be no misunderstanding. For example, when you're organizing the event, uh, everyone should understand each other very well, who is, the, who is doing what and how he is doing. So facilitating is organizing, um, how to say, meetings and uh, doing the project more uh, to be done more effectively. Uh, and you can take two roles of this list. It's, um, Maybe table topic master, toast master, as you can see. And if you ask what is different, I guess, at the meeting, uh, because I didn't know it for myself for the first time, it's uh, when you are a member of the club, uh, you can invite someone and welcome and explain everything. So it's, I think it's like the least the tough thing um, between these like, uh, roles. Um, eight. Like, um, Competent communicator track. Uh, track. Uh, this uh, this project, uh, competent leadership track, becomes more challenging from each step. Now, the eighth step is motivating people. As you know, every leader, every boss of uh, the company, he needs to motivate people. So they will do the work very well, and they will be motivated to do the things effectively. Uh, on this project, you can take uh, any three or five roles. And one of them uh, must be membership campaign uh, contest chair or public relations chair. Um, then you can be a speech evaluator or a general evaluator, toastmaster, member, uh, you can help to organize membership com campaign, I guess, and that's all. Uh, yeah, contest chair. Contest chairs is do like uh, speakers contests, like debates. So you can help to organize these events. One, public, yeah. The ninth, mentoring. Uh, as you know, Astana Toastmasters Club is not only about speaking and being leader, it's also help about helping people. 
And we do help people um, by the way of, for example, consulting or mentoring. Mentoring is like a teacher. Every member comes and if he needs, he uh, requests the mentor uh, through the more experienced members. So um, to hone your mentoring skills, you can take one of these three roles. Uh, it's mentor for a new member, uh, mentor for an existing member, or uh, you can be a member of High Performance Leadership Guidance Committee. Yeah, I know it sounds like a bit tough to understand, but yeah, mentor, I think it's easy to understand, but that HPL is uh, usually for very experienced members. Uh, they usually like try, uh, they um, organize a committee which helps them to control the leadership projects. So if you are in this committee, it means that you are one of the uh, experienced and group leaders. The tenth one is about team building. I think uh, Samad and how to say, a big bosses are a great example of uh, making team building skills. So to hone this last, but not how to say, and great skill, uh, you can take uh, both, uh, you should take Toastmasters role, general evaluators role, or you can take one of these events. One of, only one, because all of them are challenging and tough. You should take, uh, you should be a chairman, like organizing clubs each contest. You should organize club special events. Uh, like this special event may be, I would say, celebration of Independence Day or uh, maybe Country Day, as you know from our, we have many special events. Um, you can share public relations campaign. It's, um, you can share pub, pub membership campaign or contest. And be a um, newsletter editor. Uh, we do, uh, every month, we do newsletters. And uh, you can be like, you can feel yourself as an editor and write articles, serve, uh, gather from everyone articles, from, for example, from president, from vice president of education. And, Someone has a good achievements, you can ask them, like you feel yourself as a journalist. And you can serve as a club bookmaster. It's maybe making our website and doing on IT. Yeah, this is the thing shortly I wanted to tell you today. And if you have any questions, you're all right.